today I was thinking we have the Rona, we have the collapse of the economy, we have un high unemployment, we have our politicians who are lying to us blatantly about 13.3% unemployment, which is just a blatant lie. And it, it, it got me to thinking, while all of our attention is being placed over here, what's going on over here? And I, I feel that the time is ripe for the birth of Skynet. I want you to hear me out. I feel that right now, with the economy imploding, with all these people being laid off, we're having a mad rush to AI. And I feel because there's such a massive investment in AI, there's such a massive push to AI, that certain safeguards are not being adhered to. I believe they're building Skynet right now we may be dealing with the terminators in 10 to 15 years because i want you to understand with during this global reset we're being distracted we're being intentionally distracted our attention is moved over here because let's take george floyd george floyd was murdered by this cop and literally for the last two going on three weeks, the country has been focused on that. The Rona, what Rona? What happened to COVID-19? It's gone, except it's still here because protesters and a lot of people are starting to get it because they came out their houses. But it doesn't matter. Gregory Abbott, the governor of Texas, is blatantly lying to you. It's like, yes. It's going up, but we're going to keep doing what we're doing. We're in the best position. Our airport has the highest traffic in the world. And you also have one of the highest infection rates in the world. But we ain't going to talk about that. During this great bamboozlement, the great Jedi mind trick, I feel that there are scientists right now who are working overtime to create this artificial intelligence that we one day will know as Skynet or whatever they're gonna call it. Will it turn on us? Will it become, will it send terminators after humanity? I don't know, but I feel that the ingredients, the recipe is ripe for the creation of a Skynet type situation. Maybe Skynet would be friendly. Maybe it'll be the friendly Skynet. Maybe it won't have the Terminators and the robots and the stuff coming after us. Who's to say? But I feel that this is being built right now. Something else, while our attention is over here, we are sowing the seeds of war. No one's talking about war, all of these economies, are imploding, we have these situations, but the ingredients for war, the loss of power, the loss of money, we are ripe for war. And hopefully it doesn't happen, but no one's talking about it because we're talking about George Floyd, we're talking about Candace Owens, we're talking about Donald Trump, we're talking about stimulus checks. I want you to know that YouTube was literally taken over by the stimulus check update videos. Literally, there are probably a few hundred YouTubers who are doing daily stimulus updates. Uh, Morris Invest, he does a morning show, he does an evening show talking about and the, he was the guy who used to be a news reporter. So he has a certain style and presentation where he's doing this and it's working well for him. His channel's starting to grow. A lot of people like what he has to say. He has the Grover cam. And while we have all of our attention diverted toward the stimulus, check updates, like this is a really good, good concept. 
What have I been telling you guys? I said, I don't think there's gonna be a second check. I've been saying this for weeks and months and bit by bit, even the stimulus check YouTubers had to go, uh, more likely this thing ain't gonna happen. Because the reality is that Donald Trump doesn't wanna cut a check. However, the closer we get to election, all things are possible. You can see some crazy stuff during an election year. So essentially three months. So we're looking at October. We're looking at September and we're looking at August. The preceding three months before the election is what America typically remembers. And this is typically what they base their voting choices on. So what about, I want you to think about what about in September or October, a stimulus package was pushed through because this is why the Democrats put it where Donald Trump couldn't have his name on the stimulus checks because I mean, it's clear what would happen It's like, Hey, you got a check from Donald J Trump, Donald John Trump. Hey, I'm gonna vote for Donald cause Donald's looking out for the people. But as I said earlier, right now, while our attention is being diverted, what is going on? What is happening? What type of madness are we creating? Right now, people are getting laid off, not because of the Rona, because corporate America has realized we don't need all these people. And this is why I predict, as I predicted earlier, I was like, we're gonna have layoffs in June. We're at three, almost four million people laid off in June. The states are opening. This wasn't supposed to happen. But our attention is being diverted intentionally. I don't even know what kind of crazy stuff is going on. I don't know what they're building. I don't know. And also, did you hear? There are scientists who are saying there's other forms of life in this universe. That would have been an amazing, massive announcement. It just kind of slid under the radar because our attention is being diverted. We're being manipulated. We're being toyed with to be set up for the bigger fall. And I don't know what that bigger fall is, but it just, it feels like there's something building. There's something brewing that we're on the edge of some new development. And most people are asleep. Most people are led like, you know, with George Floyd, many people were led by their hearts. And right now you can go ahead and check it, fact check me that the number of protesters who protested who are now sick with COVID-19, uh, the number of people who've been going out, there was this party of 16 people who went out to a bar in Florida, they all got COVID-19. So what is different today than three months ago. I feel that we already kind of know how COVID is going to act because it seems that this strand that's infecting people is not as dangerous as the strand that was infecting people. I don't know if it's become weaker or whatever, but more people are getting it, but they're not getting as sick. They're not going to the hospital which falls in line with what the GOP was saying. Let's, let's take a wait and see approach. Let's see what happens before we do a new, another stimulus package. But I feel, and this is just an understanding based upon how politics work, because a politician will say it's blue on Monday and then Thursday it's pink. Same politician, just different alternative facts. So, we're going to see some strange stuff August, September, October. I guarantee it. And many major announcements, because like this whole announcement about the aliens, no one even really talked about it because it was missed. There was Donald Trump with his bluster. There's like this new book with um, just talking about Donald Trump was asking foreign powers for help for the reelection and John Bolton. I mean, so much craziness is going to happen August, September, and October. So just prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves 
to hold on to understand what is coming because there are unknown developments that are happening right now. I don't have the full read on it because we're going to wait for more information comes out, but I just feel it's just, there's something brewing because that whole announcement of the aliens that went, no one really even talked about it on Facebook. It was like a non-starter. I mean, when I was a kid, if they had came out, there's life on the other planets. This would have been worldwide news. We didn't even pay attention to it because we were dealing with the Rona, the unemployment, the political client, climate, Donald Trump. All of this stuff is going on right now and is creating a, a attention deficit. Things that we should be paying attention to because right now there are a whole bunch of people on Facebook who are like, hey, we're going to have a V-shaped recovery regardless of the fact that we have 50 million people unemployed and we have millions of businesses that have closed and not going to open up. See, one of the things you've got to understand is there is something that's called false narratives. However, if a false narrative is believed to be true, the people will operate on this narrative as if it's true, even though it's not true, even though there's an abundant evidence that it's not true, like this V-shaped recovery. You will Google it, you will see it. There are many people who are talking about V-shaped recovery, there's many publications, but our economy is still melting down. It's not melting down as fast as it did in April and May, but it's still melting down. We have almost 4 million people who lost their jobs in the month of June. We may end up this month, because I have a feeling there's going to be some job reports trickeration, the Jedi mind trick, because the job reports in May, we, we have, unemployment is 13.3%. But in April, unemployment was 14.7%, but there was only 20 million people unemployed. We now almost have 30 million more people unemployed. How does the job rate go down? This is the trickeration that you gotta be on, 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 on the look on guard for. You, you gotta be looking out for it. I remember watching this video by Texas Governor uh, Greg Abbott, and I went to the comments, and most of the people, he's lying. He's lying. So the people are understanding that we're being fed garbage. Because they were like, he's lying, you know, I'm in this county. And it's skyrocketing. We have, you know, I know people who have it. And it's about the, it's about the age of the false narrative. Look, here's something that's a little crazy. What if Skynet is already operational? And Skynet created the coronavirus and set it loose. The coronavirus, which was supposed to be the Terminator. I know I'm just going off the top of my head. I'm just talking about some strange, crazy stuff. But what if? Because right now we have so many things that are going on that are diverting our attention, that's taking, that's consuming all of our attention. Like OnlyFans. You got all of these chicks going to OnlyFans. You got all of these dudes who are signing up for accounts. And they're spending their coins for pictures. Pictures. No real nothing. I mean, at least in the strip club, you get to touch them, you get to rub on them or stuff like that. No. Only fans. She is in the comfort of her own bedroom while all you get to do is watch. And this is the thing. There is something that's called Demon Time. It started on Instagram where this guy, he was a club type of guy, he was a promoter, he started to host these live streams with girls wearing masks and they would strip and they would post up their cash app and some of these girls were making 10, 15, $20,000 a night. So I want you to understand that that did not go unnoticed. So right now you got people like who are coming out to strip club, it's like, I ain't gonna strip. I ain't gonna get in my car. I'm not gonna go sweat when I can be online and get a bigger audience and make way more money for doing less. 
the average stripper doesn't make 20,000 a month, let alone $20,000 in one night. So everything is changing. And I guarantee you that many of the girls who were stripping, they ain't going back to stripping. They're going to stay online. They're going to go ahead and build their fan bases. They're going to be in the working because it's more money for less work. It's more money. And also with these things of not paying attention to what's going on, I want you to think about the regular news. Right now, we're on the beginning of a crime wave. This is something that I predicted. I posted something on Facebook where these two fools armed, did an armed robbery of a T-Mobile store. I don't understand why anyone would rob a T-Mobile store. Because to my knowledge, most people pay their bills with their credit card, so T-Mobile would not have a lot of cash. I can understand robbing a bank. I can understand even robbing a grocery store but a T-Mobile, but anywho, the, the crime wave has begun. This is why I got my shotguns. This is why I have my guns. I'm all about the pew pew life because each month that we go and as people begin to suffer and to realize just, cause see one thing that this coronavirus has done has made people realize how poor they were. See, due to the great American credit indoctrination syndrome, you didn't have to understand or appreciate or feel how poor you were. You, you didn't know it. You didn't feel it. You were just going out here, living your life, doing what you needed to do, using a credit card and working and you didn't understand. But see, this coronavirus has forced people to pause and to take stock and to evaluate their lives. This is one of the things that has happened with this coronavirus. And while people are preoccupied over here and they're looking at the lint in their navel and they're just going like, or the empty bank accounts or trying to sign up for unemployment but can't get through, the reality is starting to set in. And people are about to get desperate. They're about to get real desperate. The desperation is about to be on and popping. And we're going to see people do something strange for a little change. Like these fools who robbed the T-Mobile store. I'm like, really? Because see, <clears throat> when you get desperate, you don't, you're, you don't make the best decisions. And one of the things that is happening is we're having people who are falling into bad situations and then they're going to do they're going to get desperate go ahead and check out soft white underbelly in the invisible people here on youtube and also when you have a little spare time check out the wonderful whites of west virginia this is a population of our, demo, of our uh, demographic that's about to explode. We're gonna have dysfunction everywhere. We're gonna have crime. We're gonna have the start. There are some people who are currently middle class. They're about to move to being poor, not poor, poor. And this is gonna set the stage for their children to be poor and for the children of their children to be poor. This is the road that we're walking on. And it's, you know, like I said, you know, some people call me a fear monger. And they keep forgetting, like, you know, I had this dude who's there's this comment on the same day that the stock market crashed 1800 points. And I predicted this. I told you, if you want to get in the stock market and over at Savage Finance, I'm going to be giving you stock tips because I feel that 2021, potentially 2022, will be the time for you to get in the stock market because mark my words, it's going to crash a few more times this year and you have not missed a party. You've not missed the cookies. You've not missed the punch. You've not missed the cake. You've not missed the ponies because it's going to crash again and you're going to be able to dollar cost average into it and get you some gains because I feel that we're going to go through this mess 
this massive, massive distraction. That's what we're in. We're in the state of distraction because I wonder what the powers that be are doing and what they're creating and what they're putting together because I'm here to tell you in the coming months, we're going to see some craziness. Like I said, this crime wave is starting and crime is about to skyrocket. Suicide rate is skyrocketed. Alcohol consumption has skyrocketed. Drug use has skyrocketed because people are starting to feel pain and people don't like feeling pain. So they're going to try to dull the pain. They're going to try to do something. They're going to try to create situations where they can get away from the pain. And like I said, check out Soft White Underbelly. I think it's a really well done show and it's going to show you what happens to people when they fall off. All of these girls who were molested by their fathers and Uncle John, and it was like, you know, I was 13, I was fast. No, dear, you were not 13 and fast. You were abused. You were taken advantage of. You were a 13-year-old child. Some grown man took advantage of you. And this is one of the things, because you're about to see massive, massive dysfunction. As people move down and shift to the lower class, you're going to see an explosion of dysfunction. You're going to see an explosion of bad pathologies. You're going to see madness. And you may see the emergence of Skynet. I mean, this is just where my mind went today because I'm like, what are we being distracted from? I want you to think about that because, you know, I read a lot of news. I read a lot of periodicals. And I'm starting because, you know, the thing with the aliens really got me because no one on YouTube did a video about the aliens and just shoot. The distraction is on and pop it. So, so if you want to set yourself up for this new economy, one of the things I'm getting ready to do is how to retrain yourself, how to reset yourself. This is going to go down. Thursday, 7 p.m. Go ahead, the link's below, and I'm gonna give you a little bit off so you, we can go ahead and start preparing for this new crazy future. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be, it's gonna be off the chain. So that's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to watch this video right here.